And Europe's, in a way, it's got similarities with Asia. You've got a, a single, you know, big country in the middle, Germany, which dominates production. I mean, the interesting thing about um, about what's happened in the last 18, 24 months is that Europe, and Germany in particular, has been hit by an incredibly negative terms of trade shock. If you think about the German business model, it's, it's energy intensive uh, manufacturing, high-end manufacturing production. Now, what is the one thing Germany just doesn't have energy. You know, it had to always had to import that, whether it was cheap uh, LNG coming from uh, from Russia or pipeline through Russia, or, uh, or or French nuclear energy coming through the uh, you know the, the overhead power cables or however they actually deliver this stuff. Now it just doesn't have access to that anymore. Everybody's got its own energy shortage. It just can't rely on this anymore. So their entire business model is is looking extremely challenged. And if you were a, a German producer right now, I think you'd be looking around the region thinking, OK, I can't move it too far afield. It's, again, it's like that, that China story. I want to be quite close, um, but I want to try and, and uh, you know, skip some of these energy problems that I've got. Now, it might be that that's still a problem throughout much of the rest of, uh, of, of the European region, because there's nowhere that really obviously jumps out as being you know, having abundant energy with a possible exception of, I don't know, Norway or, uh, or Iceland. Um, and perhaps, perhaps uh, the Middle East becomes a more, a more attractive place for some of this manufacturing over the medium term. But I think that's definitely become a problem. And it, it does raise a question about what is the driver for, you know, let's forget second half of the year, even 2024, what's the driver for, for the rest of this decade going to be in the heartland of Europe when the old business model doesn't really seem to work anymore. Are they going to find a way around it? Will they will they overcome it with with uh, renewables, or will there still be enormous enormous mess uh, that, that that needs clearing up?